Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today I am here with a contest entry for Vinylizer's 500 sub contest um, aka John um, so massive congratulations on 500 subscribers John certainly well deserved you put a ton of effort into your videos and your channel in general so um, yeah really really well deserved now I'm sure most of you know who Vinylizer or John is, but if not, I will be leaving his channel link in the description box below. Definitely check him out. Um, he is the king of uploads here within the VC. Uploads multiple videos pretty much on the daily, so um, yeah, definitely check him out. His content's always really, really good, and he has a really, really great and pretty diverse taste in music, so well worth checking out if you haven't already. Anyway, John, um, yeah, massive congratulations on 500 subscribers. Well deserved and um, great idea for the contest. So this contest, basically the theme around it is um, album releases or just favorites from this year. And I think it's the perfect time to do something like this because obviously the year is almost up. So um, we're sort of winding down from the year and... Um, yeah, it's been a great year in my opinion, not only for new albums coming out, um, but especially for re-releases and reissues. So question number one is, what is your favourite song of 2017? And this was pretty tricky, it really came down to about a handful of songs for me. So I listened to each of the songs a couple of times each, and I have decided my favourite song of 2017 goes to Satan is Real from Creator's latest album, Gods of Violence. I just think it's an absolutely phenomenal song. The vocals are on point. Lyrically, it's really, really good. The drumming's fantastic, and the guitar riffs and solos are top-notch. Um, just a very, very well-made and put-together song, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, amazing song, and really, really good music video um, as well. And if you guys have not checked out the Satan is Real um, music video yet, I'll leave a link for it in the description box. Check it out, it's really, really good. Um, goes really, really well with the song. So, uh, yeah, my favourite song of 2017 goes to Satan is Real from Creators, Gods of Violence. Okay, moving on to question two. So question two is, what is your favourite album from 2017? And this was pretty easy, um, the album came out very very early in this year and um, obviously there's been a ton of other great albums since but nothing seems to have topped this and uh, with only like five weeks left of the year and I think there's only one or two more albums that I'm interested in picking up I honestly can't see anything else beating it out and that goes to Creators, Gods of Violence. Um, from the opening track, Apocalypticon, to the closer, Death Becomes My Light, there's honestly not a bad track on this. It's very, very heavy, it's very hard-hitting, just how I like it, and it's just an absolutely modern thrash masterpiece in my opinion. Um, I'm sure everyone is familiar with this band, they've been around for years, um, but um, yeah, in my opinion, this is definitely one of their standout albums absolutely phenomenal so um yeah favorite album of the year goes to creators gods of violence alrighty so question three um really really fun question and this was kind of impossible for me just to pick one item so john i do apologize i'm going to kind of cheat a little bit here and throw in a few honorable mentions before i showcase uh my favorite reissue or reissues so um yeah, question three is, what is your favourite reissue of 2017? And there's been a ton of great ones. Um, this year's been really, really good for them. And um, at least everything I've picked up has been um, really, really good quality stuff. So, uh, yeah. Um, Honourable mention number one um, goes to the two um, Celtic Frost album reissues, um, to Megatherion and Morbid Tales. These are on CD, I also know they got vinyl reissues as well, uh, but I just went with the CDs. Um, these are really, really nice, they're both um, digi-style packaging, 
really high quality releases and they sound absolutely phenomenal so uh, yeah that's that one and the second honorable mention which I've done a separate video on so if you're wanting a more in-depth look at these releases check that video out um, but I'll quickly um, show these again the creator remastered um, re-releases from this year also available on vinyl um, but obviously we have the CDs here um, basically identical to the Celtic Frost releases they're in these um, digi style packaging again they sound great really good quality the only difference is um, these are a matte finish so we have Extreme Aggression Endless Pain Pleasure to Kill and Terrible Certainty so again if you don't own these um, these come highly recommended And both the Creator reissues and the Celtic Frost reissues are really, really cheap as well. So um, really no excuse not to pick them up if you're a fan of uh, those albums. Anyway, um, with those out of the way, let's get on to my, I guess, official favourite reissues of the year. And I say reissues because it was basically impossible for me just to pick one. So first up we have the recent reissue limited edition green vinyl of testaments the legacy and this sounds absolutely phenomenal so that's that one and these have been out for a month or two now um, again reissues testaments low um, I'm not too sure if this is limited or not, uh, but this is gold vinyl. And uh, these sound really, really good, by the way. And last, another Testament album, The Ritual. Again, this has been out for a few months now. And this one is on white vinyl and sounds great, just like the other two. So that's that. Okay, question four is what's been your favorite band that you were into this year? So the band didn't need to release an album this year or obviously be formed this year. It could have been any band out there. Uh, very, very easy for me. It's definitely Testament. Now, while Iron Maiden is my all-time favorite metal band, um, they've kind of taken the back burner a little bit this year and I will get into that. Um, in a second here but yeah Testament's definitely been the band that I've been most into this year um, I've been absolutely addicted to these guys um, they're the reason why I love Thrash so much you know they basically helped me evolve as a metal fan you know they got me into the Thrash genre which is my favorite metal genre at least as of right now um, and they also helped me discover some heavier, more extreme metal bands as well. So, yeah, Testaments played a big part in my metal growth or evolving as a metal fan, I guess you'd say. Just an absolutely amazing band. Um, I'm still absolutely baffled as to why they are not in the big four. Um, but yeah, Testament are amazing. My all-time favorite thrash band and easily the band that I've been um, the most heavily into throughout this year. Okay, and the last question is, what has been your best find of 2017? Now, this is going to be pretty basic, I guess, compared to some of the other entries that may show um, some very, very rare stuff. I'm fairly new to collecting, as you guys know, so my um, choices here are pretty limited. Um, but I just think in terms of rarity, it's definitely got to go to um, this original CD release of Testaments, The Gathering. Um, now, I wouldn't say I got an absolutely amazing deal on this, but I got it brand new. And considering how rare this particular CD is, um, I think I did very, very well. Great album too, by the way. Um, but yeah, I think this has definitely been my best find of 2017. 
Now this actually is getting um, reissued and re-released early next year, I think in January. Um, this and Demonic are coming out on like deluxe edition CDs and vinyl. Um, I think initially they were meant to come out this month, but then it got pushed back to January. Um, so I guess when they come out, this particular CD will kind of be redundant. But uh, for now, this has definitely been um, my best find of the year, um, especially in terms of how rare and hard to get this particular CD is. Alrighty, so that does it for my contest entry to John or Vinylizer's 500 subs contest. I uh, hope you've enjoyed my entry, John, and uh, once again, if you're not subscribed to Vinylizer's channel, the channel link will be left in the description box below. Check him out, highly recommend him, great guy with very, very good taste in music. Anyway, John, once again, congratulations on 500 subscribers. I hope you've enjoyed my entry, and thank you for watching.